Welcome to today's video on Mastering Power BI Tips and Tricks for Creating Killer Reports. Use Bookmarks for Interactivity Bookmarks are a great way to add interactivity to your Power BI reports. By saving specific views of your report, including filters, slicers, and visuals, you can provide users with different ways to interact with your data. For example, you can create bookmarks for different regions or departments in your organization, or for different time periods, and allow users to switch between them with just a click. You can also add bookmarks to a navigation menu, making it even easier for users to find the information they need. To create a bookmark, simply select the view you want to save, and then click on the bookmark button in the visualizations pane. You can then give your bookmark a name and choose whether to include filters, slicers, and other visuals. Group data in visuals. Grouping is a technique for combining data into groups based on common characteristics. This can be useful when you have a large number of data points and want to present them in a more meaningful and understandable way. For example, you might want to group sales data by region or by product category to see which regions or categories are performing well or poorly. Power BI offers several options for grouping data in visuals. One common technique is to use the group feature in the visualizations pane. To use this feature, simply select the visual you want to group and then drag the field you want to group by into the group well in the visualizations pane. You can then adjust the grouping settings, such as the group name and the order of the groups, to suit your needs. Another option for grouping data in Power BI Visuals is to use the drill down feature. This allows you to group data by hierarchical categories, such as year, quarter, month, and day. To use this feature, simply right click on the visual you want to drill down into and select the drill down option. You can then click on the arrows to drill down into the data and see it at a more detailed level. Use calculated columns for advanced analysis. Calculated columns are a powerful feature in Power BI that allow you to create new columns in your data tables based on calculations or expressions. This is particularly useful when you want to perform advanced analysis or create custom calculations that aren't possible with the built-in Power BI functions. To create a calculated column in Power BI, you can use the New Column button in the Modeling tab and then enter your calculation or expression in the formula bar. Calculated columns can use a wide range of functions and operators, including mathematical functions, logical functions, and text functions. Use Conditional Formatting Conditional formatting is a way of changing the visual style of data based on rules or conditions. These rules or conditions can be based on the value of a field, the comparison between two fields, or even the value of a calculation. For example, you might want to highlight all values in a table that are above a certain threshold, or use color to represent the values of a metric compared to a target. Power BI offers several options for using conditional formatting. One common technique is to use the conditional formatting feature in the visualizations pane. To use this feature, simply select the visual you want to format, and then click on the conditional formatting button in the visualizations pane. You can then choose the type of rule you want to apply, such as color scale or data bars, and adjust the settings to suit your needs. Use Q&A to create visuals. Q&A is a natural language query tool that allows you to ask questions about your data and get answers in the form of interactive visualizations. Use Q&A in Power BI and how this can help you to quickly and easily explore your data. To ask a question with Q&A, simply click on the Q&A button in the visualizations pane and then type in your question using natural language. For example, you might ask what is the top countries by average or show me a chart of sales by region. Q&A will then analyze your question and generate a visualization that answers your question. Use interactive features. Interactive features in Power BI, such as filters, slicers, and buttons, allow users to interact with the data and explore it in different ways. This can help to increase engagement and understanding of the data. Use filters and slicers to allow users to explore the data in different ways. 
For example, you might use a slicer to allow users to filter the data by a specific date range, or use a filter to allow users to drill down into specific data points. Use buttons to allow users to navigate between different pages or sections of your report. For example, you might use a button to take the user to a page that provides more detail on a specific data point. Use bookmarks to save specific states of your report and allow users to easily navigate between them. For example, you might create a bookmark that shows a specific view of your data, and then use a button to allow users to switch between different bookmarks. Use consistent formatting. Consistent formatting in Power BI is important to help the viewer understand the data and navigate the report more easily. Use the same font and color scheme throughout your report to help create a consistent look and feel. This will make it easier for the viewer to understand the data and navigate the report. Use the same layout and structure throughout your report. For example, you might use the same placement and alignment for titles and labels in all of your visuals. This will make it easier for the viewer to quickly understand the key data points and trends. Use visual elements consistently. For example, if you use a specific chart type to represent a specific data point in one part of your report, use the same chart type to represent the same data point throughout the report. This will make it easier for the viewer to understand the data and see patterns and trends. Use color wisely. Color is an important element in creating effective visuals in Power BI. Using color effectively can help to highlight important data points, convey meaning, and make your visuals more visually appealing. However, it's important to use color wisely to avoid creating cluttered or confusing visuals. Choose a color scheme that works well with your data. When choosing a color scheme for your visuals, consider the data you are working with and the message you want to convey. For example, if you are working with a map that shows population density, you might choose a color scheme that ranges from light to dark shades of the same color. This will help to show the relative density of different areas without distracting the viewer with too many different colors. Avoid using too many colors. Using too many colors in a visual can create a cluttered or confusing look. Stick to a limited color palette to keep your visuals simple and easy to understand. For example, you might use shades of the same color or use a small number of complementary colors that work well together. By using color wisely in your Power BI reports, you can create effective visuals that convey your message clearly and make your data more visually appealing. Thank you for watching our video on mastering Power BI tips and tricks for creating killer reports. I hope these tips and tricks will help you use Power BI more effectively and efficiently. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more informative content.